Hello, it's Ken again. This time it's uh, the best decade, the 70s. Uh, this is my own personal opinion of, uh, of and favourites of 1972, which was a great year. So I look forward to presenting what I think is uh, my favourites. Uh, obviously it's not the best top 10 or anything like that, best selling or anything like that. It's just my favourites. As always, any comments are gratefully received. Uh, your thoughts... If you've got a different sector on things, that would be great. Uh, bad or good. Uh, so, without much further ado, we'll push on straight in with um, a fantastic compilation. Um, the Doors. This is Weird Scenes Inside the Gold Mine. This was uh, the first album I bought by The Doors. I think a few people stumbled across The Doors and then sort of decided what album to look out. And then there was this brilliant uh, compilation which is not obvious, it's deep cuts. Uh, they weren't known as that then, but uh, it's a, it got a fantastic cover and the lineup of songs is absolutely flows brilliantly. So if you haven't heard the doors, or if you, you've heard the doors and thought, oh, which album to buy? This is the one to go for. It compliments even, there's a couple of uh, unreleased sort of tracks at the time, B-sides I think they are. Um, uh, so that makes it even more good. Uh, there's the CD version you can get as well, so brilliant. I recommend this if you're looking to get into the doors. So that's the doors, we'd see the inside the gold mine. As you, as you probably know, I put live albums, compilations, whatever, whatever I was listening to or, or listen res retrospectively. Another mammoth album, uh, Thick as a Brick, Jeff Rotal. Um, I think uh, Ian Anderson described it as a prog rock piss take at one point. But I'm not so sure. This is a fantastic album as well. Uh, it's got a great uh, sleeve as well. Again, well, the creativity of the, the, in these years in the 70s, early 70s, late 70s, was astounding, really. Um, so that's Thick as a Brick, Jeff Rotel. It's a fantastic uh, deluxe edition, which I would recommend if you uh, are looking to buy, buy one of those fantastic uh, box sets by Jeff Rotel. Next up is a mammoth uh, hard rock album deep purple machine head what what is there to be said about this nothing i can add with what other people have said and this is my third choice for for um for this year 1972. another double album coming up and another cornerstone of uh rock and roll this is the uh, rolling stones exile on main street a double album uh it wasn't uh, received uh, greatly at the time, I don't think, but it's it's sort of cheap, fantastic state. There's now it's a fantastic album. There's loads of great songs on you. You can't see it. It's one of these, because most double albums, you think, oh, what would be like if it's a single album? But I don't think you can do that with this, because it's sort of got so many outstanding tracks. They go, they exceed one single LP. The Stones were chaotic at the time, and it was a fantastic uh, double album. Tumbling Dice is the main single of it but there's loads of great tracks I, if you have not heard this i pers i um would like to persuade you to go and have a listen but just coming towards the end of their peak perhaps but still fantastic double album that's rolling stones at Columbia street another compilation coming up and it's a sort of slightly strange attack this is uh something i um i love some some of the gaffles greatest it's not a straightforward greatest it's album there's the live versions of some songs, which makes it all the better, I think. Obviously, they're, they're classics that are on there, Bridge Over Trouble Water, Mrs. Robinson, uh, The Sound of Silence. That's a fantastic song. Uh, Homeward Bound, uh, America, El Condor Pastor, The Boxer. Yeah, The Boxer is probably one of my favourites. So that's Sammy Gaffo's Greatest Hits, which was released in 1972. Another seminal, what our first album this was. What a first album this was. This this is Roxy Music's self-titled debut. Uh, there's no Virginia playing on this. That was just released as a standalone single and pajama rama afterwards. But, you know, they used to do fantastic things like that in those days. You could, can you imagine? It was, I think Virginia Play was definitely added to the CDs. Uh, but what an album it would have been even more so with, with that on it. But um, And it started the trend, obviously, for the covers that... Uh, Brian Ferry insisted, uh, young ladies in very, various cases of undress. Uh, it's a brilliant album. Sounds fresh now as it did then. Fantastic. Eno was involved in the first two albums and this is the first of them. 
So that's Roxy Music's second album debut. No, this uh, this year just keeps giving because here we go. Uh, one of the best, uh, definitely one of the best albums of all time, and I regularly play it now, and it still astounds me. It's David Bowie, the rise and fall of Fiji Stardust and the Spiders of Mars, from Mars. Uh, to choose the full time, fantastic cover. And um, one of those albums you can look at even now and sort of, woo, you know, it still stands out. What a quality record this is. There's no Duff tracks on here, this is fantastic. You know, straight from five years, right through to Rock and Roll Suicide. There's no, you could you can't think of, well, well that, that one shouldn't be on there, or they could have, you know, oh, it's, it's just superior. So that's. Um, Push come to shove, that would probably be my number one if we were doing it in that sort of order. But it's not, it's just ten. The ten of my favourites, and here we go again. Another, another, uh, what, what a year this is. Close, close to the edge, yes. Uh, the pinnacle for me, the pinnacle of progressive rock at the time, as it was called. It wasn't called prog rock, it was progressive rock. <clears throat> I probably said this before, I used to go in record shops and it'd be progressive rock, and they'd be reggae, and they'd be pop, and they might be rock, and that, there was genres weren't really established uh, this early in the 70s they're they just coming along um, great album three tracks uh, close to edge itself takes up all of one side uh, and for me this is the pin pinnacle of progressive rock uh, this is not bad either here we go fox Trot, genesis what, a, what an album this is so it already takes up one, one side what a track that is um, I'm one of those few people that quite likes Phil Collins, uh, and I, I, my favourite Genesis Peter is just after Peter Gale would lift those albums with Phil singing and with Steve Ackett still on them. Uh, but Fox Truck is a fantastic album, Watch of the Skies. And there you go, there's the cover. So that's Fox Trot. And the last of the ten is another visit from Deep Purple. I could be the best live album ever made, made in Japan. Uh, the CD version has the encores on it as well, which makes it even better. Better, you can, I'm not sure we can get a. I think the deluxe edition of the vinyl has probably got the encores on it. This is a standard. Uh, this is a reissued um, uncolored vinyl. Well, played it so much, the other one scratched a bit. They look after it very well in those days. Highway Star. What a, uh, the opening, opening to that intro that way. Ian Pace's drumming is absolutely out of this world. I just listened to that song just for that bit. The first, after Ian Gillen, the name says it, and oh, what, what class that is. So that's Machine Head, that, that's the 10, as always. Uh, when making my list, there were several later. On another day, perhaps I was feeling a bit different, we were. So I've got four of them here, Bubbling Under, uh, Neil Young's Harvest, uh, uh, a fantastic uh, album, uh, rightly loaded. Um, and there you go, so that's uh, the Earnings Harvest. This is a, the box set, the uh, original recordings. Uh, again, an Elton album creeps in somewhere. This is uh, Honky Chateau. Um, Honky Cat, Rocket Man's on here. What, what more do you say, you know what I mean? Uh, another favourite. Demons and Wizards, you write Demons and Wizards, you write a heap. You know, uh, my favorite track on is Traveler in Time, but you know, Easy Living, The Wizard, The Spell. Uh, it's, a, it's a great album. This is the deluxe version. Uh, the, um, alternative Demons and Wizards, which are quite, which is a brilliant, their concept to put these alternative uh, outings on the, the second CD is a great because it's. Some of these get really long extended songs and some of them sound better in the album. And finally, to top it all off, uh, a friend of mine was heavily into soul at the time and he introduced me to this. And I've loved it ever since. It's Trouble Man, the original soundtrack, Marvin Gaye. Uh, it's, it's, it's just, it's, it's just um, something I can listen to. Uh, not many soundtracks I can uh, and get repeatedly, uh, but this one I can, Trouble Man. So that's a bit of a, a wild card, I suppose. So that's my 1972 favourites. Uh, as I said, um, comments are gratefully accepted. If you like what you see, subscribe. Um, if you don't, don't. Brilliant. So next time we we'll go along with another year next month, uh, we'll see what year that will be. Bye, everyone. <laughs>